Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install the TAPCO G2 trigger. This is a modified G2 trigger. The Lynx shotgun does need the modified. Uh, it's actually the hammer that's modified. Because of the bolt hold open lever, we need to cut the hammer here. And we also need to make the hammer just a little bit narrower uh, so it'll fit in the trunnion or in the receiver with the bolt hold open lever. So I'm, gonna, I'm not going to go through this uh, step by step with you. The installation of this is similar to the installation of any AK trigger. But I'm going to reuse this axis pin retaining plate that comes with the links. If you want to abandon that, you can go with the traditional shepherd's crook. Um, here's the bolt hold open lever with its spring, the safety, the trigger. This is our CSS hammer spring, the JTE mainspring, and the axis pins. Okay, just a uh, demonstration. I was able to uh, successfully install that TAPCO G2 trigger. Everything's functioning properly. Up charge. This really lightens up the trigger, especially with our mainspring, but that, that our trigger and the mainspring combination is, is about a five pound pull. And everything functions correctly. The reset on that. <clears throat> Just to show you the everything working correctly. Tabco G2 with the mainspring, JTE mainspring. One thing I wanted to point out, I, I went ahead and replaced the bolt hold open spring with one that we sell on our website. I did not, did not find this Chinese made spring to be very effective, honestly. This, uh, which is a spring we use in our Segas and Vepers and the, uh, in the rifles and shotguns. And I went ahead also and I cut a little notch right there in the bolt hold. It sits like this inside the shotgun and that notch just keeps the spring resting on the arm where it should. So I recommend you replace the spring and cut a little notch in your bolt hold open lever. Okay, the last thing I'll say about triggers, if you're wondering whether or not the ALG trigger will work in the Lynx shotgun, it does work. This is the ALG enhanced trigger, and this is the ALG ultimate. <clears throat> the one thing I did notice, and we do provide some extra instructions similar to what we see in Vepper shotguns and in some Segas, the bolt carrier here will strike the top of the sear and so you have to modify the sear by removing just a little bit of metal using a grinder just take a little bit of metal off of that a little bit at a time until your bolt carrier group will clear and cycle correctly but other than uh, other than that minor tweak which is something that uh, again we've seen to be necessary in uh, in the Vepper shotgun and in some of the Segas, that minor modification to the sear in either one of these triggers. But again, these are excellent triggers if you really want to put something in that's going to have a, a, a three to four pound pull. You can go with something like this, and, and uh, they're great triggers. Okay, the next thing I'm going to review is hand guards for the Lynx. 12 and then these are just a couple of options or there, there are lots of different uh, Sega handguards that will fit the Lynx shotgun. Uh, this first one here is made by Phoenix Technologies. It's a polymer handguard. It also comes with six rail pieces so you can make this uh, into a quad rail with, with uh, excuse me, into a tri rail with the various uh, uh, rails that can be mounted on this handguard. This one is also polymer. It's made by SGM Tactical and you can purchase either a tri-rail which would be this piece here or it comes uh, as a quad rail where you can install the top 
and, and make it into a full, a full quad. We also have a couple of aluminum options. These are made by Carolina Shooters, very popular for the Sega 12. This is our slotted AR style handguard. And then we also have this in a Picatinny. This again is billet aluminum. Uh, it's milled and it's got uh, a bottom rail, so two side rails. You can purchase just the tri rail, which would come like this, or you can purchase the quad rail, which would come with the top piece. So I'm going to put some of these on the Lynx shotgun and show you how they look. Okay, here's the Phoenix handguard on the Lynx shotgun. You can see here, uh, installed without the rails, very smooth feel, very uh, nice tight fit. And of course, uh, you can put rail pieces here, here, or all the way across the sides. It comes with six, so you can do this on both sides. And you could also put full rails on the bottom or half on the bottom. With these six pieces, you have a lot of flexibility for mounting additional accessories on your handguard. Or just without the rails, you have a nice smooth finish uh, with a pretty good looking slotted uh, polymer handguard. Okay, I'm not going to install this handguard made by SGM Tactical. Tactical. But let me just note here on the bottom, the, the location of this attachment hole is in the correct location for a Sega shotgun. The links, the measurements there for, for where that would bolt to the gas block is different by about 51 thousand. So you do have to make a minor adjustment to the hole on this handguard. It's not required on the other handguards like here is our Carolina Shooters slotted rail installed comes with a mounting screw and two washers. The washers go on the inside between the handguard and the gas block. But you can see um, how this handguard looks on the links. Very, very good looking piece. And you can also purchase separately some rail attachments. If you want to hang some accessories here from the bottom, like a vertical grip or maybe a flashlight or a laser light combo on the side. This is the CSS slotted handguard. While I have this handguard mounted on the Lynx shotgun, I, I wanted to just put another piece on that we make, which really sets up well with this handguard. It's a barrel shroud. And this barrel shroud would screw right onto your to your threads on the end of your shotgun for muzzle brakes. With this shroud and this handguard, you can see how well they, they kind of fit together. The shroud actually kind of fits down inside the handguard. And then it also comes with um, a threaded adapter on the end of it. You can get it with or without this adapter so you can install a muzzle brake uh, on the shroud. I went ahead and put a muzzle brake on with the with the barrel shroud and the slotted handguard. So you can see this is the JT Engineering. This is a comp, our competition muzzle brake. Uh, very well ported, which allows you or really knocks down the recoil significantly. One of our best sellers. So that's the JT Engineering competition brake with the barrel shroud and the slotted handguard. Okay, the last one I'm going to show you is a, our uh, Carolina Shooters, the CSS Tri-Rail. This is the Sega 12 Tri-Rail again, installed on the Lynx shotgun. Um, you can see how that sets up. Very nice look there. And then, of course, you can buy it with the top rail, which the top rail would just mount right there if you wanted to put an optic. This is a great way to do it. Put a red dot right, right here where my fingers are, and uh, that's about the perfect location. So this is the Carolina Shooters Sega 12 quad rail on the Lynx shotgun. Okay, the last thing I'm going to discuss are various muzzle devices that you can put on your threaded barrel. We have a, a wide selection of really good uh, recoil reducing muzzle brakes and I'm showing you an assortment here as well as some chokes. So this is our 
mini monster. We also have a, uh, a large monster. The mini has three ports uh, and the large would have would have six ports. So a very nice uh, a nice option there. This is the JT Engineering Competition Brake. I already showed you that installed with the barrel shroud. This is our Molot GK01. This is an aluminum brake. It's got a steel insert so it can still be welded on if you wanted to weld it on. Uh, this is our number one seller patterned after a Russian muzzle brake. Um, you can see how well ported this is. Uh, again, this is really going to do a great job on recoil reduction. Um, and then also chokes. Uh, SGM Tactical makes a choke here in uh, modified and full and extra full and they sell them with uh, threaded adapters so this would screw onto your barrel and then you could also put a muzzle brake uh, on these threads it also comes without the thread so you can just put the choke on if you wanted to and then finally we make a slotted uh, muzzle brake this would screw onto your threads here and it also comes with a choke which is interchangeable like what you're used to on uh, Remington and Winchester and other style US shotguns uh, you can just buy these uh, Winchester chokes that would fit in this device and so you can interchange your chokes using something like that